What's cooking guys? Do you wanna make one of your audio clips sound like it's in the distance? Well, there's one effect that you can use that will work every time. Okay, so here I have one of my wedding videos where I have an audio layer playing waves in the background. And it sounds like I'm right on the beach the whole time, but I'm not. I'm actually on a dock a decent ways away from the beach, but the audio never changes. It sounds like I'm on the beach. So I want to get rid of that and I want to make it sound like it's in the distance, like it's kind of way behind me. And there's one effect that you can use that you can get that. And that effect is a low pass filter. So there's two ways you can get this low pass filter. One is by just simply going into your effects tab and typing in low pass and dragging that onto your audio layer and then hear the difference. And I'll toggle it for you. So that it was before, how it is now. It's a little too muffled, um, the lower you go. So if I go down to 500, the more muffled it's gonna be or you might not even hear anything. And then if the higher you go, the better off you'll be. So I'm gonna try 2000 to start, toggle it. Maybe a little more, like 2,500. I'm pretty close though, that kind of sounds pretty good. So that sounds pretty good. That's exactly how I would want it to sound. So that's one way you can get the low pass filter. Pretty basic, just type in a number and you'll get it. And just toggle on and off to hear the sound. And the other way you can get a low pass filter is you can actually go over here to the effects tab and type in parametric equalizer. And it has a little more to work with. It has a graph to work with. We're gonna go over to our effects tab and we're gonna type parametric. You can just type par, or par, and you can get parametric, parametric equalizer right here. Now I'm gonna drag on that onto my audio timeline. I'm gonna just mute the low pass for now by just hitting the FX. And now what you can do is you can go into the parametric equalizer and hit edit. And that's gonna pop up this graph. Go to presets, default, and then you can go to generic low pass right here. And this creates a graph. And what you wanna do is you pretty much just wanna move this box back and forth until you get the same effect. And now you can play it. And now that's too low. So you can kind of just mess with this graph, maybe a little bit there. And to hear the difference, this is your toggle switch right here. And then when you're done with this, you can just close out of this and there's your effect. So that's two ways to get to the effect for a low pass filter to create that distant sound in any of your videos for one of your audio clips. So if you like this video and it helped you out, please, please, please like my video, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you can be caught up with all my videos like this. And if you have any suggestions for me for any type of audio or video tutorials or help, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. So other than that, that's all I got for you for this. So see y'all later.